This is one of the most gorgeous pieces of art I've ever seen. I would like to, to detect magic on it. What's the deal with this thing? This is a, a big statue. So I rolled it's a natural 20 on my check. A of a rotten lion. It's pretty big. And it almost hits the ceiling. The ceiling is about like 20 to 25 feet. So it almost hits the ceiling. It's a pretty big statue, basically. Okay, so were you guys detecting magic for? Yeah, I rolled a I 20. The, the thing here. The ghost lion. Oh, oh the oh, row over here. Sorry, I didn't see you guys. On the orb. Yeah, sorry, it is good. Uh, so right there, yeah, you see the oval, you're in the oval chamber, and you see a massive sphere, right? A polished black stone that floats over a low diet. As you cast detect magic, uh, you sense overwhelming necromatic magic in the in the in the orb itself. Hmm. It's obviously magical, as you can see with these images orbiting it. Right? Is it? Are there small balls? Is that what's going on? No, no, it's a huge ass. It's a huge ass yes. black orb. The lich has small balls. Yeah, it's a huge <laughs> ass black orb. It's a big orb. It's four feet in diameter. It's, it's a, a big, big black orb. ball. Yeah, it's a big black ball. He's clearly compensating for something. Yeah, unfortunately, he's not. <laughs> not not <in> this case. <laughs> no, clearly but he is. It's a big orb, and it's, it's, it feels overwhelming uh, necromatic magic as you detect magic on it. Mm. Well, I can't really do anything about it. Doesn't this room have other features, like other pieces of art, of lines? No, it does not. It doesn't have anything else descri described on the walls or anything. <laughs> I'll take a crack at it. What does it mean? Mordos pulls out the uh, phylactery and holds it close to the orb to see if it reacts. Oh, none. That's no. No. <laughs> no. Wait, what do you no. do? What do you mean? No. Mordos, tell me what you do again. Uh, Mordos holds out the phylactery and holds it near the orb and sees if it reacts. Meanwhile, everybody's shouting no, and he doesn't understand why. Oh, yeah, you take out the phylactery, nothing happens, though. You touch, I mean, you kind of get close to the orb, but nothing, nothing reacts. What are you, what are you guys talking about? Give me that. Do you just all freaking, what? No, this is mine. <laughs> this, is, this is the most precious artifact I've found in our travels. As a tomb diver, I'm entitled to When something. did he get this back from... When did he sneak this off my person? He's not allowed to carry this anymore. Wait, did you take it from me, really? Yes, he's really it's taking it in my inventory. Me. You never took yeah, it from no, me because uh, it's in my inventory. No, no, no. I think we... Yeah, it happened like a while ago, like... Um, I think I resisted. Oh, boy. Okay, so why do you guys argue with that? Uh, <laughs> from the knowledge of... Uh, Yikir and uh, Vulcani, they're both 24. I don't know. You guys don't know much about this. You've only heard about this. Like, maybe it's just through your readings or just through knowledge that you read about, like, maybe heard of, too. Uh, you know, like, there's something called... There's orbs of, like, great <gasps> power that control oh, no. the dead. And, uh, and this orb has this power to do that. It creates undead. Whatever it's connected to... It's connected most likely from what you know from your knowledge. It's connected to the pool. Whatever whatever is paralyzed in the pool, it then has to make a type of uh, basically a fortune save to try to survive. If it does not, it dies instantly and it and is invoked into this into this orb and created as an undead, like an undead ghost that you guys have fought before. So you know this orb is called an undead. I mean, creates undead. Uh, and it's very powerful magic. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like it's very strong. Um, it's overwhelming. Like if you if you could destroy it, but it was just be very strong. It's very be very hard to destroy since it's you know a pure black orb uh, of solid stone. Is there a chance um, Mordos would know that too? Uh, you didn't roll knowledge. You didn't roll knowledge. Not um, Arcana. I could do yeah, that. Yeah, roll Arcana. Okay, yeah, you do know. You do know exactly yes. then. 
So, like all three of you know, and you know that this orb also, I mean, since it's connected to the pool, it creates some dead. And since each orb most likely is created depending on the on what type of necromatic necromatic magic is used, this one obviously is associated with the lip. So it's created for this particular to create undead lions, maybe even more undead. And this one, for this instance, is called the lion's heart that you that you can think of that you heard of before. Wow. That you can kind of connect the dots of what it is. Wait a second, I know what this is. And I look at Miles and he's got the same realization on his face. Do you know what this is? Mm hmm. This is a great source of power. <laughs> Now, are these things bound to the creator? Oh yeah, definitely. That you can think of it's like a, it can be controlled by the creator. Yeah. Hmm. Is it possible? Mordos is considering. Is it possible that there's instructions around here somewhere on how to create these things? Since he did it. You have no idea. Not with your knowledge. I say, my friends, we. You have no idea beyond your knowledge. Even though you're both good, you don't know beyond your knowledge. We do you need to find his library, his his study or something. This this lich is holding knowledge that that would benefit us in what we're trying to do. Hmm. Just think the red I don't hand like this talk. <laughs> the red hand would not no. stand a chance if we used if we used their own fallen comrades against them. Bear Miles looks annoyed. I mean, what is your alignment again? I mean, what are you talking about? I mean, I'm <laughs> I'm straight. I like to bang women. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> I'm a bit I'm a bit you know uh, xenophiliac too, but that's that's a bit different. But think, Yiga, how many people could we save? Uh, how many true living souls could we protect by just throwing useless matter against the uh, the unstoppable red hand? We 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 would stop it. <laughs> okay, at this point, Miles is going to transform back. Okay, she transformed back to human. Gotcha. Yeah, maybe. The Reactivate. Nice. Yeah. Reactivate. Right. So, all right then. So, what I'm hearing is, and what I heard is, it uses this thing to create more and then, right? Yeah, it's connected, connected to the yellow, <laughs> it's connected to the yellow pool that you saw in the other room, and it Speaking creates in undead. character. Yeah, it creates undead. Oh, yeah. I was speaking in character, though, so that's, yeah. that's why I was like... Uh -huh. uh, oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. my bad. Yeah, so... To... Was to give him the finger, so we just destroy this thing? Uh, hang on. Uh, you two, grab him. Please. Grab who? The madman! <laughs> the bard? <laughs> Oh, you talk yes. about this. I forgot I gave it to you. You can have it back. It's just, you know, a couple, like uh, 30 minutes ago, you are a bit more absent-minded than you are today, so I just kind of uh, <laughs> got it from you. But you can have it back. I'm not interested in the phylactery anymore. I have another goal. <laughs> All right. I just toss it to you, Volcani. And it's Iron Box. Talking in a way. That's what you wanted, right? Okay, good. So you said we could destroy this, right? I said we should wait until we actually find him, but... No, I was asking Mike. The, the orb. Well, yes, we should destroy it. I mean, nobody here can use it but him. 
exactly. It is so the, secondary uh, point. It might piss off the lich. So maybe we uh, shouldn't yeah, if so, we don't want to get murder bones. So I was gonna ask your question. Uh, answer your question. Yes, you you could destroy it. It'd be kind of hard to destroy it. At least this is a salt stone of of necromatic magic imbued into it. You could try to destroy it. And yeah, if you destroy it, it'll it'll. It definitely has it has a powerful, overwhelming magical uh, presence. So if you destroy it, yeah, it'll definitely have an effect of some sort, which you don't know. Say hmm. what? Oh, did you guys hear me? Or no? Yeah, I did hear you. Okay, cool. I heard you. I didn't understand though. <laughs> Other than it would be really hard to blow up. Wait, who has the flector right now? I misheard that part. I'm sorry. Uh, thankful Connie does. Unless okay. Morios is still holding on to it. No, I gave it okay, back. Cool, cool. I think previously Volcani oh, okay. had convinced me to hand it over, and I guess I forgot about that. So I just RP'd it. I got it. I got it. Cool. Best friends for life. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> BFFL. All right. Cool, cool. I don't really see how we could destroy it, besides maybe lava. Oh, Miles, can your lava elementals melt glass orbs, or whatever the hell, rock orbs, whatever the hell it's made of? Uh, well, I have called lightning. I can just hit it a whole bunch of time with lightning and see what that does. Right. I mean, because I don't think he would be alerted. It seems like a ritual instrument where he has to come to use it. Otherwise, it's... Without being personally activated, I don't see any kind of connection being formed with another entity. So let's not worry about the alarms being rang. Right. Uh. All right. So, okay. Just, just to. All right. Are you guys fine with me hitting it with call lightning to see what it does? What? No. Wait. Don't throw a big spell that you only have a finite amount of them. Come on. Let's splash acid on it. <laughs> it worked last time you did it. All right, then. So, I'm going to step back a bit. And I'm going to hit it with call lightning. All right. What did I just say? I did not hear. Okay, sorry. I did not hear you. What? <laughs> As he says with his eyes glowing. No, like, like, literally, like, I, like, uh. I'm sorry, I, what? <laughs> I'm too busy blowing it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, I'm, no, I'm being for real. Like, uh, sometimes some you guys are, like, cutting in and out for me. So I, mm -hmm. if some you guys were saying he something. He said, why are you wasting a third level spell? You don't even know if it'll work. You I only already have a finite number of them. I already had it. I already, I already, quote unquote, used the spell. I still have like not eight, uh, seven more uh, uses of Call Lightning because I oh, get okay. charges of it. So that's why I say, like, let me hit it with Call Lightning because I still have like six more and it's still going to last for a bit. I mean, shouldn't we just use a cantrip or a low level power and just splash acid on them? Repeatedly, I mean, I could use a short uh, rest well, while he does that. Well, it's a powerful magical object, so it might not even do anything if it was a cantrip. It's magical acid, right? I don't think I even have acid splash anymore after I did the character rebuild. Oh, I thought it came from Volcani, but I could have been wrong about that. No, it was me. But I think Volcani can probably make acid if he really wanted to. I'm more concerned about pissing off the lich than anything, because, you know, <laughs> we have we already have something to deal with. I'd rather not have the red hand plus a pissed off lich on our ass. 
I'm, I mean, we're already here fucking around with the stuff, so... Yes, we talked about already this already. <laughs> I think I'll be more forgiving if we don't try and break his shit. Whoa. I think he doesn't really give a fuck if You're the undead... Talking forgiving! Forgiving? Forgiving. What the fuck? We're here to kill him. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I'm not. I'm here to get him to stop helping the red hand. Uh. Huh. I mean. And I would prefer to negotiate rather than try and kill the thing. Um, Volcani, cause... who's the madman here? Please tell me. I mean, we have a bargaining tool. We have a swactory. You're not good. No. I'm not giving it back to him. I don't want to. Volcani, don't give it back to him. Well, the other option is let him keep believing that the Red Hand have it and he'll assist them. Tell him we have it and then have him after our ass forever. I mean... Or hand it over and negotiate him to fuck off and leave us alone and stop helping the right hand. Or um, we try and kill him and probably die. Ah, no, I got a better uh, plan. There's still, a, there's still an option of uh, uh, fuck him and just destroy the, the, the phylactery. Um, that is the last option I mentioned. Or we kill the necromancer and loot his library, his hoard, try to find his treasure chest. It's a lich. Do you really want to fucking fight a lich? I don't. Does I mean, I don't want to, but it's, you know, better than leaving the lich do whatever the heck he wants in the dark. Leaving him to get he mad. He can be dealt with later. We have a more pressing concern. No, you're right. He can be dealt with. They can make a deal with him. So let's cut that out of the equation. They already have a deal with him. <laughs> No, they were planning on threatening him, which we removed their leverage for that Yes, threat. but he still isn't aware of that as far as I know. Well, he so still hates the land of the knows, living, which we represent. Blackmailed. Well. Agree to disagree. We're going to kill him. We could always try doing some really stupid move <laughs> in negotiating. I don't think it'll ever work. We could try to convince him to help Grindel in exchange for his phylactery. Hmm. So we do get the undead hordes. I um, don't see that I, working out well. I don't think it will, but I mean, it's an option. We could try it. What could I if think we probably possibly go, promise nah, him that kill his... you. We can promise him that his cannibalistic lion hood will always be able to feed on something, like our friends over there. Like, what could we promise him that he would even want? The phylactery. I, this is That's really, I think, a foolish. something he definitely want. Miles. Yeah, so what's... I'll be right back what? one second. Okay. Miles, how would you and your gods deal with, with this... I won't have much to gain with defeating him and <laughs> looting his knowledge. Uh, well, to be fair, uh, kill him and destroy any knowledge of him existing. Yes, he's evil, and yes, he deserves to be destroyed, but we have to be pragmatic. We can't I fucking mean, kill absolutely. everything. Yeah, I mean, there is pragmatic, but they're still like letting him live. He's just gonna. Yeah, that's also the other thing. Like, what's stopping him after? You know, we give him the phylactery. What's gonna stop him from killing us right afterwards? He's going to repeat his history. He's going to take all the tribes of this land, eradicate them, their culture, their stories. He'll eat them within the lion's belly like they never existed. We're leaving. Let's go kill the lich. No, we're leaving. If he's building things like this. Okay, sorry, I'm back. We're leaving. This this is a problem that's plagued this land for 
longer than no. we know. At some point. You're addicted to whatever's involved in this place. We're leaving. Um, this is a pretty difficult decision to agree on, Do apparently. You really want to leave him to possibly make a deal with the Red Hand based on the fact that we've stolen his most precious item and he already had it out for the denizens of this land to begin with. He was eating we've everyone. Killed most of his min we've killed a percent small percentage of his minions. We've killed members of the Red Hand. Obviously, we he could make more minions with this thing. <laughs> I I still think negotiation is a good enough option at this well, point. I think I don't think we can fight him if he's building things like this. I don't want to fight him. That's why I want to negotiate. There's no guarantee. No, but he's not going to negotiate in good faith. All he wants is for his phylacterian to be doing his necromancy bullshit. Yes. And we'd just be walking in as test subjects. And, yes. or worse, willing disciples in the case of this one. So, I'm not willing to or we leave him to be continuing being blackmailed by the right hand and assisting them. So, jeez, what what do we do here? Because either way, it's kind of a lose lose option. Because if we leave it alone, the right hand there's going to have an undead army plus whatever the fucking shit they have already. I will write such great stories about our accomplishment here. Uh, the women for miles around will throw themselves at your feet. Even writing even a note you too. Volcano? Actually, hang on. He's a druid. Yeah. Miles. Yeah. Write a note in druidic. Tell. Write a letter that says, "The Red Hand does not have your phylactery. The United Armies of the Vale does." Signed, and we each sign it. We're leaving. What? So we tell him we have it? So you're he doesn't know we have it. Tell right him now. that Brindle has his phylactery. Then he's for sure going to tear us to Sunders. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not wait. even high, and that's quick, funny. Quick, wait, <laughs> quick question. So we really studied a whole bunch of things about liches, right? He studied, studied the general information about liches. Uh, how much do we know about l lich phylacteries? Uh, what you know generally is that. Uh, Lich phylacteries are connected to the uh, to the lich itself. So his so when he dies, as long as his phylacteries still intact, he can revive it in a couple of days. Uh, so his essence or his his actual uh, I guess speak soul is connected to the phylactery. Right. So as long as the phylactery is intact, he can never truly die. So by that logic, with my character being wise enough, so if destroying the phylactery that will fuck up or at least weaken him significantly right or no kill him. no we will not weaken him it'll just make him know that he knows it's most likely destroyed and he has to create a new one all right then that would not... potentially remove the leverage the red hand have over him well the red hand because then they wouldn't have him. anything to blackmail him into helping right. assuming they are actually Correction. blackmailing him the letter should say the red hand is lying to you they do not have the phylactery signed the displaced yikes i do not want to give over any information about the phylactery right now he thinks the red hand has it and he is worried that the red hand will do something about it which is why they were threatening him uh, uh, very pompously, I might add, as if they know it's the last. We're not going to continue arguing this point inside of his lair. We're leaving <laughs> now. We must be inside here to go kill him. He's now. turning away. The best route Bowling. is to kill him now and then destroy his phylactery. Thirty feet down the door. Miles, surely your God <sighs> would not stand such an abomination to continue living. 60 feet down the door. You better move your icon, buddy, so when you get jumped, you're alone. All right, so you, where do you go? You go back to the hallway. Yeah, I'm leaving. Uh, uh, he's literally heading for the exit. I'll put you over here. Every six seconds, he's going to move another full speed. So, like, roughly there? Yeah. Yeah, right. right My there. God. So you see... You see, we can't leave the room. 
So what do you guys, oh, three of you guys, what do you guys decide? I don't know. I mean, Mordo seems pretty fucking dead set on killing the fucker. I want to negotiate, and Miles is kind of leaning towards killing it. Oh, no, I've been for uh, killing him ever since, uh, like, ever since I uh, found out about the phylactery and him being a former druid. Yeah. I just, I just don't feel like, uh, what's it called, being fanatic about it. I mean, Volcani was with you on um, killing the guy up until we saw, like, this shit, and yeah, I it's mean... moderately apparent that this guy's building really powerful shit, so there is no way we can fight him. He's probably, like, CR-12 or some shit, so, like, no, it, it's not happening. We don't have... We don't have it. We couldn't even handle, like, the fucking mooks that are running around in here. We don't have this. We're out. So... I agree with that. I was just hoping we could maybe find a way to get him to at least fuck off. <laughs> yeah, Mordos, That's why I was trying to leave the letter. Mordos really thinks that any attempt at negotiating or mm. letting him in on information would severely tip our hand, which is totally not what we're going to do in the case of an invasion. He thinks we could kill him because we, we've been overcoming all of our obstacles and he thinks it's absolute madness to try to negotiate with somebody who cannibalized the local region <laughs> so I, I think like so, the best option we have now if, if we aren't going to negotiate is destroy the phylactery if he's still under the impression they're holding it as blackmail then the red hand have fucking nothing to keep him working for them and and, and if he believes that the red hand destroyed it then he has a good reason to actually go after the Red Hand, and we don't need to give a fuck about anything. I said that, uh, like, a few sessions ago. Like, yes, few... but Mordos was very infatuated with the phylactery when you said it. <laughs> so, so, back to your guys' points, uh, just to give you guys some, uh, I mean, you know, some feedback on that. Um, From God. So the, well, I mean, Volkani has already left, but the three of you guys were discussing I mean, you definitely know, regardless, if you guys choose to fight him, you can fight him, right? The thing is, Yeeker wants to negotiate them. So regardless, you guys can always negotiate with him. And regardless, if you negotiate them and you choose to fight him, you still fight him afterwards. I'm not going to fight him. If if negotiation fails or whichever. I mean, if negotiation case, fails, I'm leaving. Yeah, I mean, either case. I mean, either case, you guys could do either. The thing is, you guys have to make... I mean, obviously, you guys up to you guys what you guys want to do, right? So, yeah. See, you can't. You see, the, the problem with the negotiation plan out of character is that you can't do it because the guy that's in charge of negotiating is out of his gourd and is worshiping this guy's dick. So I'm out of we character. Out. Like out of can't. character. That's that is. Uh, Mordos has uh, plainly been against this guy and has mentioned killing him. Smart guy like Volcani would definitely equate that it's not the same to worship and want to kill him. It can't be the same. So. He's worshiping. Yeah, Maybe no, I mean, he might oh, that's, be interested that's the point, in some is of that this we can't, knowledge. He's thirsty here. for all that knowledge. Uh huh. Yeah. He wants and, that necro. He wants that necro knowledge. And so he we, wants so it, we can't. to take it. Anyway, yep. but you didn't broach this subject with Morado, so there's no way we would even come to a common ground on that. <laughs> you, yep. You made your, like, well, you know, this is the characters talking. It's just how we happen, right? He's got his hard logic, and he's like, okay, oh, you know, if that equation Mike, doesn't add up. I'm not paying attention to it. Like, what Mordos was is... the detect magic on those uh, on those uh, magic objects that, that are here? Um, what's the aura intensity on them? Strong. That's an obvious thing, right? We don't even need a knowledge check. You just look at it with the detect from. Yeah, for you. What's that? I I can, do, I can give you what the actual aura is. See. Necromantic. Uh, let's see. It's over nine thousand. As it's a magic item based upon the caster level, so if that thing is uh, yeah, water, it's, a, it's, okay. it's definitely it's definitely overwhelming. And it's okay. it's, it's it's been for long. It's been for a long time. Not since it's been created, but it's been here for a long, long time. No, 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 no. I'm looking at the aura strength of the caster level, which d is determines how powerful the fucking guy is. So you're saying overwhelming. That means he's level 21. Yeah, yeah. So that's we're not, definitely that's not, out. 
It's not associated. Sorry, it's not associated with his power level. The the or, the the object stuff is overwhelming, but he, it's not associated with his power level. Just to let you know. Well, he made them, right? He made these things. Yeah, he made this thing, but this thing became powerful with on its own throughout like decades and centuries, which your characters would not know, but through your knowledge, you guys are able to figure it out. It's okay, powerful. So is there? So there's. So we have two magic items in this room. One of them is the orb. One of them is the, the well of poison, yeah. and there's a third one in the form of the phylactery. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to do the fucking like DBZ thing. What's the scouter say about his fucking power level here? <laughs> yeah, I got you. So like his phylactery is kind of like moderate to strong. Like it, it's it, he's a pretty strong person. Like he's okay, been doing this for a time, but he's not like so like CR not- eleven to like CR twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like eleven to thirteen. Okay. Yeah. Out of character, boys. We're leaving. We're not gonna be able to beat that shit. <laughs> like, maybe if it's like on a bright and sunny day, right. and we haven't had we had a good full nap, and like there's nothing <laughs> in between us and him, and we prepped for it, and we knew everything in character, like how to kill a lich, like maybe, but. There is no fucking way. That thing's like 10 levels of fucking caster with like whatever other bullshit plus undead traits plus uh, fucking lich like negative energy bullshit plus, plus like damage resistance and spell resistance. Plus minions. Uh-huh. So there's literally like no way we could take that fight. Not with this so, Back in character. No way. I'm... Mordos is kind of like with his arms out, kind of like exasperating, staring at these two guys like, huh, uh, and they're just like unsure looks on I'm their gonna face. I'm going to go follow Volcanic because he's uh, the one that has the phylactery. It doesn't matter what anyone else here decides because Volcanic has the phylactery. Right, right. So all of you guys make a intelligence check. All four of you. Not the zombie, of course. I think Mordos not, is the only one suffering in, from intelligence right now. But all of you guys make a telephone check. Oof. I don't know what the DC is going to be. Uh, hang on. Yeah, well, Connie has no idea. He's, ste- he's dead on, like, we got to leave, guys. Uh, <laughs> Mordos is like, yeah, I guess we should leave. I mean, he kind of agrees with everybody else. Like, sure, nobody wants to stay. Uh, I mean, Mordos, I mean, sorry. Uh, Miles, do you want to roll your intelligence or, or no? Uh, hold on. It's giving me a few. Uh, oh, my- Mordos had a brain fart. It's like, I don't get you guys. (laughs) So 20 definitely. Intelligence, right? Yes, sir. Uh, Okay. Hey, at least. Hey, 19. Okay, yeah. So Mordos and Miles, I mean, sorry, Yeeker and Miles definitely kind of figure it out. For the notes what you guys read when you guys were in the Ruins of Rest, from the from that warm lord talking to the other warm lord was was the uh, was o, o, Ulia uh, was the most likely the person that you think of most likely was here. You can kind of figure that she and the the red hand itself was trying to control the the the, the lich, and the best way was through the phylactery. We kind so of got that impression already. <laughs> it, it seems from the nose that the phylactery is very important to the to the ghost lord. Like anything else, not really important. It's just the phylactery itself. Like, it's very important to him. Oh, my God. Hey. Why? We, we kind of got that impression already, but okay. If we're not coming here to kill him, then why in the fuck did we bring his phylactery right to his lair? We're just turning around because we're scared. All right, let's go. Here, let me, let me phrase it another way. The phylactery is most like something he would want compared to anything else. We we know that. That's our literally our only bargaining chip is the fucking exactly phylactery. exactly. So go with it and go full force, Yeeker. Do you get the point? No, that's too much help from God. Uh... Walking down okay, the hallway. I, I know. Okay, I get it. No, nobody well, gets it. I don't have it on my person, so I have to go after Volcani regardless. What would I your character be, right? I'm gonna need to get it from him. And that's assuming we don't have any more shit ahead of us, which I'm presuming there is probably more fucking undead garbage before we get to the actual lich. So having Volcani just fuck off is not exactly helpful for 
achieving a negotiation goal. Plus, Morados and Miles want to kill him, so... Things are probably would go to shit even if we got there. I mean, and hopefully... The only person who has negotiation skills would be Mordos. Because I'm not going to be able to roll, like... Technically, Volcani as well. Shit. And, I mean, if Mordos... you want me to keep quiet, right. I'll keep quiet. Right. I just don't like it. It's called characters. You always have interpersonal conflicts. You can always roleplay. It never is always one-sided. It's never every one way. You can always change the fact of how things will be. So don't always think that one thing's going to happen. There's always several possibilities. Just to let you know. Yep. So you can always talk to your group. Remember all right. That. So let's assume that we're all, because uh, I'm sure Yeeker probably started down the hallway already. We're all following. We're probably trying to catch up to Volcani at this point. It doesn't mean we have to stop talking about it, but we are in process of catching up to him. And make sure he's not dead, because we didn't explore all the places behind us. There was the staircase we didn't go up. Yeah, and the undead guy is still following you. That bone drinker is following you, Mortis. <laughs> he's just following you along. Did the ghost just fuck off, then? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. yeah. He took to hide in the wall, so it wouldn't like, attack you with the gaze on accident. Just left him in the wall. I tell, I tell the zombie ghost yeah, to follow me, but to walk through walls through whenever possible. Through. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So it's, it's, Volcani, I mean, you I'm... could tell Volcani that we're, you know we could d destroy the fucking phylactery, which would be, and we just leave. Like that. That makes sense. Because then there's no way he's gonna come back after it because it's destroyed. He knows it's destroyed because he can fucking feel it. That's that's fine. That's what I'm come thinking. Us. Like, I mean, if people aren't willing to negotiate, we should just destroy it. Because then, if the Red Hand or the one blackmailing him, well. They lost their bargaining chip, and mm -hmm. now he thinks they fucking destroyed it, so he'll be pissed. Mm -hmm. And plant it on the and plant it on the dead bodies of the red hand guys, if we want. But you mean like right here? Yeah, literally on top of the dead Vol red hand guys, the ones that we fought before. I mean, why not? I mean... All right, but but then he still finds his own thing, and he's got no one to thank and no no leverage against him to get it. We still have an opportunity to leverage something and, and get something from him. Um, Volcani, you know, I know you wish you think about me. I, just because I understand and appreciate the other side of life, being death, it doesn't mean I'm going to go up there and just start sucking his dick, sloughing on his knob if he tosses me a gold. I'm not <laughs> that cheap of a whore. Now, why don't we just go and see what he has to say? Maybe look at his desk while we're talking to him and try to peek at his notebooks while we negotiate? I have a multitude of reasons. For one of them, you wouldn't know what to do with it if you had it. Two, I don't trust you even if you did have it. Three, he would probably just kill us just for the sake of the fun of it because he wants more minions to oh, replenish right. the ones we've killed. Four, um... What do you trust, Volcani? The work. The work. Are you talking about the work like as in physics? If we prop up some matter and use it as a force against an oncoming force, we present work upon it. That's all I'm talking about. Raising up some dead matter and throwing against some other matter that's coming against us. That's work. No. Not that work. The you work. You don't trust your party. Let's just destroy the fucking phylactery. It's like the best option we have at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. As we're walking down the hallway, talking about this. Um. Hey, Mike. When we yeah. get back to that room, assuming we do get back to that room with the dead monks. Okay. Uh, can I write a Can I write a note? Uh, I we've mean... seen. He's Volcani speaks Goblin, and he's got. Baker has Goblin as a language as well. I mean, yeah. You have, you have yeah, me too. Well, no, Hank, let, let me, hear me out. Uh, what's, what's the uh, fucking skill for uh, falsifying documents? Bluff. I think that was uh, linguistics. Oh, linguistics. Oh, sorry, my bad. Are you good? Okay. I have a couple uh, ranks in it, so I can do that. Uh, because here's my thought: is we fake a letter, then orders from the Red Hand to destroy the phylactery and we put it on the corp the body of the dead guys and we roll from there the dead there's a 
just a bunch of dead dudes. Maybe it's just a bunch of adventures that came in. Whatever. He don't care. He's more concerned about the I fact mean, that one of them escaped, so we can just pin it on what's her face, the perfume one. Yep. She she destroyed the black tree and killed all the killed all the witnesses. Yep. And we just count on the the Lich Lord finding this. I mean, I guess. I mean, yeah. who gives a shit? Either way, he, he's going to know the phylactery's gone and that the Red Hand doesn't have that bargaining chip. I mean, he right now he thinks the phylactery is with the Red Hand. If he senses it destroyed, he's only going to lash out. There's really no need to for an Yeah, and that's setup. fine, because he's going to lash out against the Red Hand. But haven't we tried it, destroying it already? No. no. I wanted to, but stopped. Well, yeah. I mean, and then we saw how powerful this guy actually is, so... Yes, and then we got yeah. scared. I was hoping we could come to a more... helpful resolution, but I guess this is good enough. Whatever gets me closer to his materials. Does everyone want to use the hero point? I will guide you if you guys want a hero point. If you want to use the hero point. <laughs> um, hold up. I don't Do have, I have it. it. <laughs> no, I, I might need it. I might need it for not dying to the lich. So. If you guys want me to help you guide you. I already have a feeling of what you want us to do, considering you were heavily hinting of negotiation as an option. We didn't have oh, to no, spend no, no. a hearing point. I'm, I'm trying to help you guys. I'm trying to help you guys. It's, yeah, I know you guys have a lot of interpersonal conflict as a group. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> I'm not trying to help you too much, because I want you guys to figure it out on your own. I mean, That's, that's why I'm, I'm not going to use a hero point, because you basically said negotiate. I'm just saying, whatever you guys want to do, you guys want to do. I'm just trying to help you. You guys want help. I think we're oh. we're like oh. we're like seventy percent of the way to a conclusion just by people being convinced one way or another so far. Um, I, I mean, apparently I still got like I'll, I'll spend it because apparently I still got like four hero points left. <laughs> wow, I have no idea how I like looked at my sheet like, oh, there are my hero points. How the heck do I still have four? Doss, Van one, screw it. So he communes um, with his yeah. god or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean intense prayer. Uh, I mean Miles takes a yeah, takes a step. As you guys in this dissection room. Uh I'll describe the section room because I think I don't think Bukani saw it. Oh, it's this room. The what room? Dixit uh Oh, you might want to hold your nose. It it smells in here. Yeah, the section, the section, a chamber. Uh, this room contains a low stone slab of, sta of of a table across the north wall. Clotted blood and less identifiable bits of tissue cling to the tabletop, filling the air in here with a clothing stench. A stone shelf above the table is cl uh, cluttered with jars, vials, and stained surgical instruments. To the immediate right of the table, a pit, a square pit, opens in the floor. More blood is splattered around the pit's rim. All right. So what? Uh, so, you, so do you actually use your your one of your hero points, Cloud? Yeah. Okay. Your max is three, just FY. So you would actually have four. <laughs> okay. Uh, I. Okay. Sorry, my bad. I don't know how. I just looked at it it's like I have four. What? All right. No worries. So okay, I'll drop that down. I'll drop that down to two. Okay. So you want to use one? So you definitely know, regardless if you guys know that if you destroy the flag tree, that the lich will have vengeance towards anybody that destroys a flag tree and he'll continue his plan to invoke dread upon like the elson barrel wherever his plan was with the horde which is what the bard has said his entire history has been based off of so far but it, but you know if if he has a flag tree that could be a little bit more of a bargaining bargaining chip We could tell him to go across the gorge and go to the land of the Red Hand and inflict his vengeance upon them for attempting to blackmail him in the first place. We, all we ask is a mere exchange of knowledge for an item and that he leave this place. That won't work. Because giving him what he wants means he no longer has to do what we want him to do. 
uh, Fukani and and even Mordos, even Uther, you guys know the, the history that you learned about him way back then. He's from a tribe, so he's yep. big on honor. His word oh. is honor. I was about so, to ask. I mean, that's fine. Possible. He's also a cannibal and a lich. So he yeah. ate his tribe. <laughs> right. Right. He's like, there's no, no there's no, no guarantee. No, 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 no. no. Um, he is a cannibal. He did not eat his own tribe. He eat other people from other tribes. Oh, that makes it better. We are not a part of his tribe, so, you know, we're fair game. And neither is the yep. Elsa Vale. Yep. I'm telling you, this man is a plight on the universe. Besides, we don't know. We don't know what his tribe was like. We don't know what their sense of honor was like. For all we know, their sense of honor involves, hey, <laughs> it is my honor to deceive. It is honorable to deceive those dumber than you into bad bargains. No, no, you definitely, know, you definitely know in this type of tribe that. I mean, it's war. fine. It's yeah. fine. We're just leaving. We can't fight like a fucking <laughs> CR15 wizard. Like we're done. So we've, we're done. We've passed the dissection room at this point. And we're still walking yes. because Volcani has okay. not altered his course, and we're all just they like have, they talking cannot, behind none him. None of the things that the party has said to me has convinced me to not do this. So we're leaving. We're, we're gonna we're gonna go over here. We're gonna <laughs> smash this fucking thing, and we're leaving. Whether or not party like writes the fucking fake letter from the red hand to do the shit, or whether or not like he writes the letter in druidic, doesn't matter. So you see the. I mean, you see the fog go away after a while. You guys have been here for like 30 minutes or so forth uh, or yep. more. So it's getting disgusting. The fog is gone. You just see a stairwell going upwards as he entered this room. Do, do, All right. Do, 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 do. So you guys are going to go to the other room where you fought the guys? All right, cool. Yeah. Now, Deco, I tell you, sometimes I love our alchemist, but sometimes I hate him. <laughs> All right. I was speaking to Yeeker in the back there. So, did you guys uh, you also destroy the statue of Tiamat, or are you guys keep it? No, there? we already uh, we already broke it down and like divided it. So in we our, did. Uh, back yep, we did for valuable pieces. We already took care oh, you of guys it. Are, remember, it weighs super heavy. So we put it in the bag of holding in what? pieces. We are not wasting space in the bag of holding. On I think we already did this. burning the fucking thing because it was made of wood. I think we already did Dark, that. Yeah, it's a... Okay, let me describe it so you guys can decide what you guys want to do with it. The poor statue of Tiamat is inherently evil. It's nothing more than a wooden statue. It weighs, though, two, 350 pounds, but it's worth... The yeah, he told us this the last time I was here. Yeah, fire and gold pieces because of its artist, artistry. Okay. So, yeah. So just want to know if you guys will leave it, burn it, or... It's worth how many gold pieces? 500. 500 gold pieces. And I think we were going to piece it up and put it back together or something like that. It's made of wood. I'm going to burn it. I don't care how much it's worth. What a fucking savage. We're going right, to put set... the phylactery on top of it, set this thing aflame, and we're out. I don't think the phylactery is going to melt. It's going to fire. All right, it's fine. I'll smash it, and the then we'll melt it in. No, no, no. But nobody says that. We just all watch it. We watch Volcani throw it on there and try to light on fire. You see it shatter as it burns on fire, and it starts soaks up because it's huh? so forth on it. As it burns up the whole statue, it lights it up several feet high as it just burns up and bursts into flames. You see smoke kind of collecting in the room. It kind of makes you kind of see uneasy in the room, but you kind of cough a little bit. But it burns up the whole fucking statue, and it burns alive. As you see, the whole section is burnt. Yep. He's fucking right the phylactery. again. Okay. The statue's made out of adamantium. So I'm curious how you guys would destroy Wait, it. Wait, what? Yeah, it's made out of adamantium, remember? Adamantium you didn't say thing. that? Yeah, I said it way back then. Yeah, he well, gave us a, a little... So we wouldn't even catch flame. What? <laughs> and we watch the as the... You didn't say it was made of fucking adamantine? He said it was yeah, wood. No, no, no. I'm talking about the statue of Tiamat. It's made out of wood. But, I said the statue of Tiamat. The, uh, the phylactery. Oh, the phylactery is uh, made of adamantium. Uh, oh, the phylactery is made of adamantium. Oh, it's like well, adamantium then I just need teeth, acid. teeth and stuff like that. Nice big gem on it. All right. Well, how many acid bombs do I need to throw on this thing to melt it? Well, it's going to be hard because it's adamantium. It's not going to just burn through through, through acid. Acid bypasses hardness. It bypasses uh, steel. It bypasses steel, not adamantium. Uh, a lot harder. 
You need like an adamantium weapon to like break through the hardness. Or a masterwork? Oh wait, my no, not adamantium. You need a man like a adamantium axe or sword. Okay, great. Or so this doesn't even work anyway. So we're just fucking leaving. Cool. Yeah, yeah. or you can break. Okay. Uh, uh, wait, did we break the phylactery? Uh, I had to get up. No. I thought the whole point was that this thing was supposed to be breakable at the very beginning anyway. So like. Don't think so. There was no point bringing so. it with us. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Leave, leave it on the ground. Work. Fine. No, leave no. Leave it on the ground. Let me flame no. strike it. That won't work. Since. It fire would. only does half damage to it. Oh my but god. Coming I here was the save... worst decision we've ever made. I was saving the empowered spell to do this. Like the uh, for the artifact I have, I will empower the flame strike to cause even more damage to it. Damaging objects. I hardness adamantine twenty. Okay. 40 hit points per inch of thickness. Yeah, I quoted that a long time ago. I quoted 812 when we talk about Mithra and Amantium. Because I remember that, and then I remember the whole point of the conversation was like, hey, well, can we even attempt to destroy this thing? And then you're like, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Well, yeah, you as long can. as we know it's... that we can destroy it. You can yeah, always you can. attempt to destroy it. <laughs> Be hard. I mean, <laughs> destroy. It's just gonna be hard because adamantium chain. You know, I mean, the lich is not that dumb. I mean, he's gonna spend some money on his blackter, right? So since he has money, we I can mean, yeah, we can destroy. attempt all we want. Destroy it. Yeah. Yeah. I posted that a long time ago, but I don't think so. Everybody it seems to me that we've wasted an entire day, much blood and sweat. And not to mention maybe opportunities to save lives with other endeavors on this damn trip to the Thorn Waste where we did nothing? I think this is the whole point of why Mike was pushing us to negotiate is because we probably couldn't destroy this thing or the module doesn't know how to handle it. Yes, and you can destroy it. It's just need an adamantium Look, weapon. It's fine. We're still leaving. Volcani, then what did we come here for? Do you really... Are you used to we wasting killed materials ages with the red like hand. this? We killed agents with the Red Hand and we conducted valuable reconnaissance on the fact that the, the Lich of the Thorn Wastes is far more powerful than we had anticipated. Even more reason. Your logic is flawed, I fear. We cannot win against this foe we have to leave does it mean we should not try because there is a chance no because the greater peril is he kills us all receives a phylactery anyway and then is free to do whatever he well, wants maybe we don't fight him except as a last resort no it doesn't matter if we choose to or not there is no option that it allows that because it is the ultimate fail state just walking into the room with him and the phylactery do you approach all of your alchemy with this kind of pessimism? Experimenting, yes. anticipating it doesn't work? We're dealing with a mo an existential threat. Well, when I'm writing a new story, I don't think the hero fails right off the bat. I think the hero wins. <sighs> I'm still for negotiating. If we can't destroy the phylactery, it's better to at least try to get him to fuck off. I'm not saying fucking run up to him and flash, hey, we have the phylactery. Maybe try seeing, like, what if we told you the red hand doesn't have your phylactery, or what if we know, could tell you where it is in exchange for this information you don't fucking help them. We don't have to fucking throw our hand at them right away and go, here, please kill us. Because the second we fucking flash the phylactery, we've lost all bargaining. Yep. Maybe. 
But he doesn't know he, that then he, he can't destroy absolutely it. absolutely no reason to keep us alive. All he has to do is go, oh, you have the phylactery? You're dead. What yep. if we made him believe that we could destroy it? Nope. Not likely. And make him nope. desperate. He's more powerful than us. He could probably see through the lies. And if he doesn't do that, then we're screwed anyway. I think the best option here I'm is a really to good liar. try and negotiate. But, I mean, I just want to try I'm, and, you know, uh, do something about the lich rather than just let him be, you know, helping the red hand under the impression he's going to be blackmailed. To be fair, okay, to be fair, at this point, Yiker is making the best argument at this point. At least we'll be dealing with the list to buy the uh, capital and the people time for them to get at least people a lot more qualified and or more powerful than us to deal with the list. Because like, yes, I, I I do not like the list and also don't like the fact that he was a former druid turned into a list. But became at least we're doing, one. Became we're doing one. we're doing at least we're trying to do something about it. So they're not, he's not an immediate threat in the invasion. We have to be Beautiful. very dramatic uh, about it. We um, can't deal with both. Um, uh, yes, I am agreeing with you. I don't like this, but I'm willing to swallow it if it will at least save people's lives for the time being. And then we can come up with a better solution to deal, to deal with the lids at a later time or at least with a better plan. At the very least, we get full reconnaissance of his lair, so we can just pass that off to whoever is going to deal with who, the... whatever. So we can give it, hand it off to the church or whatever and say, yeah. hey, by the way, uh, Church of Pelor, um, we don't have much time lit. the Here's all the information fire. on his lair, go kill him. At least that's something. We can at least... We don't have to be responsible for literally everything. We're literally trying to just get the fuck out of this dimension. We should <laughs> not be that involved on the fucking uh, local level on everything. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to write a note myself. I have your phylactery. Leave the people of the Vale alone or I will destroy it. Signed, Vulcani. Stick it to the fucking wall. We out. Okay, so he makes a new phylactery. Boom. You let us worthless. <laughs> I don't feel like we have a way to vul convince Volcani anyway. I don't think maybe we don't need one. If he's not willing to assist his friends in this great act of heroism, which has the potential to save this land and seal our names through the echoes of eternity, then fuck him. Alright, so we, what are you guys are deciding? Leave him in the room. Are you guys staying or? Leave stay? the thing and then leave in the room. He's okay. got the phylactery, so we have to get it off. The letter huh? literally solves nothing. Do anything. Okay, so we're kind of starting to leave the, the, the lair. Do you guys do the three? Do you guys stay together here? Or do you guys follow him? Well, well we need the phylactery. If we he want asked... to negotiate, we need it. Okay, so you ask Connie for the phylactery? That's the question. I guess. Okay. We'll see how so, obstinate Volcani is about. No, we're not doing anything. Well, ask him. I mean, you could ask him. He's right there before you leave. Okay. Can I has phylactery? What do you intend to do with it? Negotiate. We can't let him, especially, in the same room as the Lich. Why do you not trust me so? Because of your behavior in this place full of my horrible behavior necromantic behavior has no regard to the Lich himself. Oh my god, we need to do something about the Lich or we're yes. gonna fucking have... Please I just stop did, being so and if necessary, the, ba the phylactery is in the bag of holding, by the way, Mike. Um, so... <sighs> what else is in that bag of holding? I mean, this all your other equipment. <laughs> <laughs> bunch of other equipment you see that. the wheels turning in Volcani's eyes. <laughs> no, no, no. He, I figured this out a while ago, but it's a question of what, what else is in there. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of there that you guys have in there. Whatever your bag. I think it's basically have. everything we've been looting. 
Well, so I have a bag a of holding too, Haverson. so I have my stuff. So not uh, everything we've been looting just... would be in there. Yeah. much. I know Volcani has a bag of holding and the handy haver sack, um, but what have we put inside that bag of holding? Because that's important. Oh yeah, I mean you guys have a bunch of. I mean I think a couple of you have bag of holding and a couple of you have a handy haver sack. So a lot of you have distributed the uh, the 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 loot that you guys have found with these with these people people you killed recently. If you really want me to dispose of this thing, points at bag, I can. Pulls up his dagger. Uh, what are you getting Whatever. at? I, I'm. I. Yiker really doesn't care anymore. I cannot trust that any encounter with, between us and the, the lich will go in any way that is positive to the people of the Vale or ourselves. I don't give a fuck. We will die or they will die. Because of your prejudice against a half elf bard. <laughs> Volcani, you have you severely misjudged me, sir, and I pity your arrogance and your assumptions being right. <laughs> you, Miles, do you have anything to say? Miles? I'm just trying to do whatever is expedient to get us the fuck out of this dimension. This isn't our problem to deal with. No, not really. Miles is at his feast. Yeah. For all that fact, if we don't like this dimension, we might as well give him the phylactery in exchange for a trip home. The faster we get back, the faster we get them back, and just, we don't need to deal with this fucking garbage anymore. Just give him the phylactery and tell him to send us home. Right off this dimension, and everyone in it. Is no! Uh... Really, I don't know... <laughs> I am astounded at the ignorance in play I don't, at the moment. I don't know. So, Vakani, should we take the phylactery from you in order to try to save the Elser Vale? You would not survive the attempt. Uh, I'll give you guys a couple of minutes. I'll be 